Hello everybody. This is Linda with Linda Sue Plants for you. Well, I'm going to start off this video by reminding everybody that I got a new ring light and I'm hoping that this is better than it was before. Some of you have responded and said yes it is and so that's great. Um, I also want to remind you if you want to be part of the question and answer video to please um, get your questions in because I'm going to be working on that later today and hopefully it'll air tomorrow. Um, so if you have any questions we're going to do a question and answer as requested by several people now. And it can be questions pretty much about anything. I, I can't um, you know, predict what anybody would like to know, so I don't want to make it specific, just, <clears throat> well, you guys know what to do. You've probably done this before on other channels. So anyways, um, you can leave those questions at the bottom of this video in the comment section. So I will have two videos that I will have to go through the comments and pull the questions out of, but that's not a problem, okay? All right, um, ring light update. Uh, Susie was telling me I need to get that camera behind the ring. And I had it really behind it, but off to the side. So now I have the camera directly behind it. But I think the light that you guys were seeing is the light that's coming in from my three bulb lamp that's over there. <clears throat> so I turned that down to one bulb. Maybe it'll help with the glare. I don't know. Um, actually, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll turn that on right now. <clears throat> and you guys can tell me which way looks better. And I really do appreciate all of your input. So don't be afraid to... Uh, you know, let me know if it's if it's a negative thing. I, it's okay. Just just be nice about it. <laughs> okay, now I don't know. I don't know if that's better or worse. I almost think it was better without that on. All right, I'm gonna turn them off again and just use the one bulb. Yeah. Now I have it off completely. Wow, that might be even... Is that even better? That might even be better. Okay, I'm going to leave that lamp off. And it would be great if this is the, the most optimal um, you know, uh, arrangement because <clears throat> I'd like to move that lamp to a different place in my dining room where my uh, plants need a little more light than they're getting in the winter here. So I would love to move that lamp away from this end of the table. So if this looks the best, that would really be great. Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is my Pilea peperomoides. Peperom peperomioides. I always forget that E in there. Peperomioides is how it's pronounced. And <clears throat> you all have seen my real big one. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through having to um, move my camera again to get that picture for you, but you can see it on past videos. And uh, this is quite a setup here for me. I have to be very, very careful as well because I fall very easily and I trip on things very easily. I lose my balance, so I got to be real careful when I'm walking around this light and this camera, the tripod legs that stick out, and then I've got my walker right next to it. So it's a bit of a challenge for me. So I'm not, at, and I couldn't bring it here if I wanted to, folks, because that pot is huge and extremely heavy. I mean, my husband is a strong guy, and he has a hard time lifting it. So. We won't be doing that. So if you want to see my big, huge uh, pilea, you can do that and look at in past videos. But these are the babies from that plant. And the reason I wanted to feature these today is because I wanted to show you, first of all, this has not been taken care of very well. 
I have dead leaves down in here and that's an absolute no-no in the plant world. And as I said, I, I'm not going to lack um, content in future videos because I have a lot of catching up to do. And one of the things is I have to get the dead leaves out of the top of the soil. That is a, a thing that we should all be doing pretty much on a daily basis or maybe even every other day because it attracts disease and insects. They feed off decaying plant matter. So if you don't take that out of there and then you water your plant, you're going to have wet decaying plant matter, which is, that's a big invitation. So I'm going to do that while we're talking and I uh, want to let you all know we had a really, really good dinner last night. It turned out great. Um, but it was a lot of work, and although my hubby and I, and I worked on it together, I think we both agreed that maybe next year we'll just do the Outback. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that restaurant, but they have got the most awesome lobster dinner. Um, I The last time we ate there, of course, that was a couple years ago already, uh, but it was $23 for my dinner, and that was three half lobster tails. And they put a seasoning, excuse me, seasoning on it that's just, it, it, it just, um, it marries with the uh, taste of the lobster. It doesn't overpower it, so you can still get the sweetness of the lobster. And then you get the <coughs> homemade bread. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> homemade bread and uh, your choice of super salad, garlic mashed potatoes, and then a vegetable that's pretty cheap. I mean, we spent that much on the lobster, so <coughs> I'm so sorry. May have to stop and restart here. Okay. <coughs> but anyway, so we thought, and they do have them to go now. You can order it ahead of time and pick it up. So we might do that next year, and then we don't have the work or the mess. And there was a time when I used to absolutely love to cook, but I'm not able to do that physically very easily anymore. So it, it was a it was a challenge. Okay. So <clears throat> anyway, my birthday turned out great. Thank you all for your, your birthday wishes. I appreciate it so much, and uh, the happy New Year wishes. And I wish the same to all of you. I do believe we're going to have a much better year this year, somehow or other. It, it, it To me, it just seems like it can't get any worse. So let's all think positive, and, and hopefully that'll be the what happens. All right, now for my plants. Um, I'm not too sure where to even start on these. These plants need a lot of sunlight. Now, I have my big one. Right now it's about a 10 inches or so away from, maybe a foot away from my south window, and it's it's too far. I have to have supplemental LED lighting on it, and I have to turn it every couple days. Um, <coughs> so this really does need, if you have one that is leggy looking or it doesn't have many leaves on it, it's, it's not getting enough light. That, that's just plain and simple what it is. Um, the drooping will happen when it needs water and also when it's in trouble. And I have found that there's really no way to know the difference. So I just go by how often I water, when did I water last. Um, I've also been getting some fungus issues. And the reason I know that is because if you have a, um, a leaf that's got... Now this is not fungus. This is this is burnt from the sun. But if you have a leaf that has a brown spot on it and it's got a yellow ring around it, that is fungus. And I think the reason I'm having issues with my bigger one is because we put it in a I put it back in terracotta, but it's a lot deeper pot than my other one. So unfortunately, in order to get the water to the roots of the plant, when they're drooping, <clears throat> and I can see they need watering, 
sometimes that soil on the bottom of that pot is still damp, but the roots aren't getting to it. So I, I believe that's what my issue is with that, and I don't know how I'm going to remedy it other than finding a sh more shallow pot to put it in, and I may end up having to do that, but um, that was that was a very hairy repot too because these break off so easy. So I mean, just leave it the way it is and then start over with um, one of these guys. Now, <clears throat> the other thing that I want to point out is the color of these leaves. And I hope you can see this. Um, I'm going to try and hold it up to the camera a little bit further so you can get a real good look at it. Can you see the, the red on the leaves? This one in particular, very red. And there's a few leaves on here like that. And that is from the sun. It got sunburned. But it's beautiful. I like it like that. So I don't know what to do about that. If I should pull it away. I've got this one directly in the windowsill. These were those same size at one time. This one is on the table in front of the windowsill. This one is right in the windowsill and actually it was behind a my sheer curtain had moved over a little bit and I didn't realize it. It, it opened up about a foot otherwise I normally tie those back <clears throat> but when I washed them I didn't retie them so with vibration the um, sheer curtain kind of moved back you know like it wants to be open so <laughs> it went in front of this plant and when I was watering my plants, I forgot this was behind there. So she not only got stressed out from not having enough water, but she had direct sunlight beating down on her in my south window. But look at her. I mean, she's, she's, other than the red, she, there's nothing. Now, she needs water right now. But there's, I mean, she's, she's beautiful. And look at all the little babies. I hope you guys can see that in there. She's having tons of babies. So she's really what I would consider a healthy plant. Other than that red, which I actually like on there. And I don't know if I, if I should like it because I think it's hurting the plant. So, now this, when you see this, this is, there you go. That's lack of water on the pilea. So if you have this color leaves, it needs more water. When I first got my first pilea, I would water it and then I would let it dry out almost completely before I watered it again. And it, it grew like crazy and it worked out fine. But as it got older, and like I said, I got it in that bigger pot, now it's, it's giving me problems. So this leaf, I'm not liking the way this looks on here. This... This one I'm going to cut off. And I'm going to give these all a good soaking. And then I'm going to put them back in the... I'm going to put this on the table, though. I'm not going to put it... I don't... Well, I don't know. Maybe I should put it back in that window. It made it there all summer. I don't know. But then I have another issue. Um, it's a kind of a strange thing. My summer sun light through my south window is actually much brighter during the winter than during the summer. And the reason being is I have some trees out there. They're not they're not right next to that house and they don't they don't block all the sun, but it does give me dappled shade. So when all the leaves are off the trees, um, I get a lot brighter light in the winter. So I don't know, we'll see what we're gonna do. Um, as far as pests, I haven't had any on, on this plant at all. Oops. Uh, the, I, I've heard people say that they had um, um, <coughs> the little white things. I'm, it just escapes my mind right now. But um, for heaven's sakes. Uh, I don't know 
I can't think of it, but <clears throat> they're little white things that look like cotton and they attach themselves to the plant. Uh, I don't, I haven't, mealybugs is the word I'm looking for, my goodness, my goodness, okay, so mealybugs is what I'm, I have heard some people say that they had them on this plant. I have never, not yet, not going to look. Um, and if that happens, you just take a Q-tip and dip it in alcohol and never double dip. Take your alcohol, put it in a little dish or, or I put mine in the cap and then I use one side of the Q-tip and then I use the other side and then I throw it away. You don't want to contaminate that bottle with a, a used Q-tip. But you just take a Q-tip and you dip it in the alcohol and, and set it on the, on the bug, on the mealybug and if you're in doubt as to whether that actually is a mealybug you'll know when you hit it because it'll turn colors it'll turn red or brown or sometimes even purple um, and you just you know pull it off with the with the q-tip I, I don't I never freak out over mealybugs and I, I haven't had them I don't think more than twice in my plant world um, so they, they don't bother me so much. Uh, let's see, what else? I think I covered... Oh, the soil. She'll grow in pretty much any kind of soil, but I've got a pretty loose mixture here. This is... Uh, this is... Uh, leapfrog soil with a lot of perlite added and a little bit of sand, a very little bit. I find that my succulents, and this, although it's not a true succulent, it, it, it does hold water and, and it acts like a succulent. And I find that my succulents and my cacti really like it when I add the sand to the soil. And I guess that's because of the drainage, but I'm not sure. So that's it, just a, a, a lightweight soil mixture with the perlite. Um, I do believe I have some cocoa choir in here, but if I, if I, if there is, it's very little. Uh, and, and like I said, they're, they'll, as long as that soil isn't compacting down like mud, they're fine. <clears throat> when this plant gets older, you got to be very careful. Um, if you're the, if you're the type of person like I am that take, I take a skewer every now and then, and I go down in the, in the soil to break it up if it gets hard, Sometimes you have to do that because then when you water plants, if that soil is hard, it's, it's, it's making little reservoirs. Like if you ever look at the, the bank of a river, um, and you'll see where if it's raining, there'll be a, a stream going down where, it, where it's indented and then it won't, you know, it's not going down the whole bank. It's just going down that stream. It finds the lowest area. <clears throat> Water will always seep the lowest area. So if you have compacted soil and you've got any of those little divots down in there, they make they make them on their own. And they just happen. And if that happens, when you water it, that water's going to go right down that ravine and it's never going to hit your, the roots of your plant. So that's something to keep in mind for all of your plants. <clears throat> but the reason I'm bringing that up... <clears throat> is if you do it with this plant, you have to be very careful. Because as you can see, she shoots babies out all over the place. And you never really know when they're com where they're coming up. My very first one off of my, my first plant came up on the, on, the, on the edge. On the very edge, I could see a tiny little bit of green, like this. Like, this, like just like this one. You see how it's right on the edge? And if you start poking around in there, you're going to break off that, that top stem. And I've done it, so that's why I'm, I'm telling you guys to be careful. Okay, um, propagating is not hard at all. You just take your, your uh, the way you normally, normally would, <clears throat> go around the edge of your pot, tip her on the side, and shake her out a little bit, maybe squeeze the pot if she's in plastic, um, and just pull her out gently. If you have babies there, they're, they're going to tend to want to fall away. Um, 
you can do it right after you water it when it's still wet and they'll they'll tend to hold together a little better or if you don't if you want them to fall away so you can repot those babies do it when it's dry because they'll just pretty much fall away and then if it's if it is still connected to the mother plant you can simply cut that with your scissors or razor or whatever you use for your cutting tool <coughs> um, and then you can repot her directly in soil I've never water rooted these. I imagine you probably could, but <clears throat> I haven't done that, so I don't know for sure. And I don't want to give uh, wrong advice. So that's pretty much it, though. That that's that's it for for my pileas. And for those of you that are new to the plant world, there was a time when you couldn't touch these. They didn't have them in the U.S. And the ones they did have were ridiculous. They were like $60 for a tiny little one-inch pot with a, a few leaves on it. And I got my first one at Stein's Garden Center for, I believe it was $12, 12 or $14. And it was from the woman who actually had to get permission and go through a lot to bring them over here from another country. And I don't remember what country that was. But uh, the important thing is that she and her husband put up a greenhouse and started mass producing these and she put them in a box, a flat box with an extra pot and she called it the friendship plant and she said when you when you get a baby plant that baby in that extra pot and give it away so they weren't trying to hog it for themselves which I thought was a, a very admirable thing of them to do. They, they wanted to get these plants out there to people and understandably so because they are so cute it's probably my favorite plant. Um, oftentimes I hear people say, if your house was on fire and you could only grab one plant, which, which one would it be? Well, it would have to be the one from my dad's wake. Uh, however, that's a peace lily, and those are very common. And So I think I would try to sneak two out because I really would want to take this with me. So that's, that's the funny story on that one. But... Yeah, other than that, and I do have, also I have this one in clay, and this one is still in a, in a plastic pot inside of the clay. So that could be part of the reason why she's, she's bigger too, I don't know. But this is the one that I had directly in the windowsill, so. Uh, for anybody that thinks these don't want, these don't like bright light, I, I would have to take issue with that because... And I've got uh, several others. I, I think I've given away three now. Uh, my daughter, granddaughter, and I, and I sent one to Susie in the, my, my box of, of cuttings to her. So, yeah. It's not my, my first go at this, so I, I, I think I must be doing something right. I hope. I hope I continue to get new babies and and grow this up to be a, a real big girl too. Oh, the other thing is, it's, it's not uncommon for these to lose their leaves. And don't panic because you're going to get more babies. And I think that's why they propagate themselves. So if you have a stem, your, your main stem is dropping leaves, I, I almost think that, that that's the way they were made to, to, they were made to do that, to make room for these babies. I don't know that for a fact, but that's my theory. So I don't stress about that anymore either. There are a few other channels on YouTube that have the big beautiful Hylias too. So you might want to just check them out if, you, if you're interested in this plant and just see what they have. So, all right, well that'll do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope my, my light is working out better. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I got three quarters of my table cleaned off yesterday. That was quite a feat for me, but I did it. We normally sit in the living room and we eat and we watch TV and I never thought I'd get to that point. My parents used to do that. But you know, it's okay. We both have a, a little table that we sit at, but I made such a beautiful dinner, or I should say my husband and I did that. I was bound and determined to sit at our beautiful dining room table. And uh, 
we did manage to do that even though I have a little a little bit of stuff still on the other end at least we had a clear spot to do that at so that was nice and today I'm just enjoying all the beautiful snow everything is snow covered I just love it my husband doesn't like it he's got to plow it and drive in it and I don't blame him but I'm not going to let that steal my joy because I'm just loving it. Okay, well, thank you all again for coming. Uh, you guys really give me a, a purpose for getting up in the morning. So keep those comments coming and let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, I'm going to be doing the question and answer here in <clears throat> a little bit. So if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section and I will be I'm going to try to answer that all in a video and I especially would like to hear your opinions on the, the different lighting here too and how it looks to you all right so okay now well, have a great weekend what's left of it today's what Saturday yeah You all take care now. Bye.